We made it. Hello, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? And enhance the communication and collaboration between students. But I th certainly thought that was a benefit. Try and make sure after the Zoom activity, we came back together as a large group. We have a fine community. Um, and, it, and it's hard not to miss just that sort of interaction with whoever we run into, whatever their uh, role is on campus. That's, 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 a, that's difficult. One thing that really drew me to teaching was my relationship I was able to build with students and the ability to draw them into community when we're in a classroom. And so I really was curious as to how I could potentially replicate that in an online environment. Another faculty member said, hey, let's just take a pause. We're talking about a lot of work-related stuff. Let's just do a non-Friday faculty meeting where we can invite our spouses or partners or children and we can have a meal, we can be sharing our screens, and we did just that. And so I think the best thing we could do is, is maybe not put the pressure on ourselves to expect it to be perfect, but, I, but I, I guess I need to point out that online is where, hell, it's where most people go for social interaction anyway. At the beginning of winter 2020, I was teaching a class in epidemiology, talking about epidemics, <sighs> pandemics, when the coronavirus, COVID-19 struck. So I was teaching a course in real time to my 16 or 17 students 